All right, 2013 Ford F-150 here. Customer states sometimes it's hard to start or doesn't want to start at all. And uh, just won't start now. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Keys in the ignition. This is what we got going on here. We have to pull it inside. I just cranked it. It cranked and cranked and cranked and cranked and cranked and cranked and didn't want to start. Sometimes Sometimes the issue is right here, this fuel pump driver module. Okay. It died like it's supposed to. And we have to see we plug it back in with the key in the on position if we, and you can see right there the pump is all or the tank is all sucked in at the end I wonder if like the purge valve or something is stuck open is just pulling vacuum on the tank constantly and it's causing starting issues because it will do that uh, let's go up here and check the purge valve and do basic checks and see what happens let's go see if it passes an evap test because that tank is really sucked in pretty hard up there let me show you. See how it's all caved in? A lot of times when the purge valve is stuck open, it'll do stuff like that. If there's something wrong with the EVAP system. It'll cause starting issues as well, like elongated cranks like what just now happened. Try to do another start here. Started up right away. Let's pull the vehicle inside and check for codes. So this is a 3.7 liter naturally aspirated F-150 and these are commonly known for purge valves acting up. And when the purge valve acts up and it gets stuck open, a lot of times you're just, you know, constantly feeding the intake manifold full of raw vapor. So while your first crank, it'll crank, 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 crank forever because the engine's flooded with nothing but raw vapors while the vehicle was off and it's so hot outside like it is now, all those vapors are constantly making their way up through the lines and flooding the intake manifold. So when you go to, uh, to uh, crank it, the valve is partially uh, open and it's letting all those vapors flood the intake manifold, which is fuel, and it causes an elongated hard start. Well... Once you crank so long and it clears everything out, it'll start up and it'll run fine. But then once you go to shut it back off and you let it sit for a long time and all those vapors fill up the intake manifold again, all of a sudden it's another hard start again. A long, elongated crank. It's a typical issue with purge valves. Especially after a, you fuel up at the pump and you push all the, you fill up the tank and it raises the fuel level and pushes all the raw vapors up into the intake manifold. Same situation. I just covered this not too long ago with a poor... Um, a recommendation by Scotty Kilmer when he talked about somebody filling up gas and he pointed out at the charcoal canister even though it's part of the system it's a very poor recommendation because it has nothing to do with the charcoal canister the charcoal canister is specifically a storage type unit move all the way to the front of the engine where the purge valve is at and that's typically what the problem is 99.9% .9 of the time especially after a fueling event or a long a long sit when it's hot outside Vapors rise, the fuel level rising, pushing all the raw vapors up into the intake manifold, and it floods the engine, and it takes a while for everything to clear out, or it'll run rough for a long time. Not a long time, but several minutes after starting, and then it'll clear up and everything runs fine. And then we look at the bottom of the fuel tank, and we see how the fuel tank's all sucked in like that. Well, there's probably some kind of issue with the purge valve, and as the engine's running, 
it's stuck open it's constantly pulling vacuum back there on that uh the fuel tank and it starts to cave it in slowly it's one of the issues that we had with uh, focuses and fiestas with uh fuel tank deformation or deformation sorry the purge valves would have to be replaced and then uh sometimes if it was bad enough they say you have to replace the fuel tank as well let's pull into the stall room so there is a code in the computer po25a0064 fuel pump control module circuit a open and when you come up here to the engine if you look at some of my previous videos i pointed this out in the past all the way up until like the 15 14 15 model this fuel this fuse right here number 27 if you look at the schematic here you go down one row and then down another row it says the second one in is fuse 27. well fuse 27 is right here next to this 10 amp and it's burned up so this fuse is garbage and normally what they do is they put a, a big relocation kit and they'll actually relocate this fuse you can really put it into any of these slots that's open but they relocate this fuse to another open junction there's a tsb out for it a lot of people just replug it with a good fuse and they never have the problem again but i'm concerned about that tank being sucked in like that normally when the tank gets sucked in that much the tank is typically damaged the fuel doesn't ever read correctly the fuel level and you'll never get the, the tank straight again so it runs true and a lot of times this purge valve is what's bad on these but you know it's it's normally a couple things it's this fuse the kick panel down here where somebody pushes up against the plastic here and there is a, a connector that gets pushed undone from the bcm but that typically means like lights and everything flickering and all that stuff no start that's not the situ situation here it was the fuel pump driver fuse this is the number one and number two reason and then the purge valve would be like number three number four uh, but this would be the main concern first because this is the only code set for the fuel pump circuit so it's probably making just enough connection to send enough power back there but it's burning it up and we need to figure out the relocation kit for it here's the number for the kit it's el3z14293 a and it says uh, for that code you need to relocate it to the spot specified in the instructions inside the kit so i gotta go get the kit to figure out where they want to put I got a bunch of these right now at least just enough to move it around but i went in there and actually asked them the guy said he's going to leave the truck here for a few days because he doesn't need it right now but uh i asked him if they could go ahead and get me a fuel pump relocation kit so they'll have that to me tomorrow So I think it's a combination of two things. It's still starting with this fuse, but I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with the purge valve in the vehicle as well. And it's just like two eight millimeter screws that you pop that purge valve out on the top of the motor, put a new one in, plug it back in, clear codes and you're fine. But that's what that uh, sucked in gas tank is a good indication of unless they hit something. But this is the main problem here. This is the code that's set on the computer for the fuel pump driver module fuse. So I've got a, I think I got some more. Well, what Ford says to do is relocate it to one of these bigger box fuses. And then they say it, they never have the problem again. But I've seen guys just simply replace that 20 amp fuse and not have an issue for years. But who knows if that you know would be a good long-term fix because we always try to file, follow what the manufacturer says, but just re putting a 20 amp fuse in there even though it's kind of thin and that's probably the reason why it's burning up to begin with probably has a lot to do with uh, why they're melting let's go ahead and start it up yep fired right up no delay like before so let's clear these codes real quick and see what comes back. Okay, fuse replaced, engine started. No codes, everything's running fine. The vehicle started right up immediately. 
So remember, the fuse is number one spot to check. The second one is the connection over there behind the plastic panel in the foot well on the side where you put your right foot. The third one would be to check your purge valve. Unplug the purge valve or unhook the purge valve from the actual um, intake manifold and plug the hole and start the truck. See if it starts better. If it starts better, replace the purge valve. If it stumbles every time you fill up the gas, and it doesn't want to start right away or it runs rough until you drive for a few miles, replace the purge valve. Uh, the tank getting sucked in like it is down there. Uh, it could cause fuel level reading issues. Uh, so that could potentially be a problem in the future. What you could do is you could go to the dealer and have them run an EVAP test. So in this video, we looked at multiple possibilities and we found out what the problem was. Even though we suspected something else, we do know that these are common problems with an F-150. Fuse 27 is the fuel pump driver module control circuit, power circuit. Uh, the BCM connector behind the passenger foot panel uh, getting kicked when passengers push up against the plastic. I have previous videos on that. Uh, PCB or uh, the purge valve getting stuck open, allowing uh, vapors to creep into the intake manifold, flooding it, causing an elongated hard start and uh, rough running after it started. Also, the fuel pump driver module and that cross member in the back likes to rot out on the back side. It's a plug and play system. Uh, buy a new one, mount it, plug the connector back in, clear codes, you're good to go. Those are the top things that are wrong with the 2011 to 2014. Could even be earlier. We could go from like 2010 to 2015 just in case there was a model bleed over or something like that. Thanks, guys. Be blessed.